In a previous video, I showed you how to convert an image in Photoshop ready for publication to make sure that all your images are really high quality. Now I understand that not everyone has access to Photoshop, so I'm going to show you an alternative which is free. And it's called GIMP, which is a GNU image manipulation program. It's completely free, just go to GIMP.org. Now it doesn't work on Mac OS at the moment, but that's okay because you, it will be coming. So I'm running this on my Windows machine. Anyhow, download that free, install it, and it looks like this. So it reminds you of Photoshop from a few years ago. It's a bit outdated, but the functions are pretty good for a free program. So how do we change this image to be the right resolution for publication? Remember that you want an image which is about 20 centimeters width and about 300 DPI, depending on where you're publishing. So Let's have a look at this image. Uh, I'm going to go to image, scale image, and this box pops up and we can see various options. So what do we do? Firstly, we're gonna go into our measurements. I like using centimeters and here we have pixel centimeters, sorry, pixels per inch. Um, this is just the way I work on these things. So we can see this isn't quite right. So I'm gonna drop this down to about 20 centimeters width and the resolution I'm bumping up to 300 pixels per inch. So this stuff here is pretty standard and you should be able to work out if you've used Photoshop. The next part here is the quality. There's different ways we can do this. Now pretty much um, no halo, it's the diffusion. Um, it's just not having diffusion. Low halo is gonna have some diffusion. So this, no halo is gonna be sharper and low halo is gonna be a bit but fuzzy depending on what you do. Now it doesn't tell you what is best, so you've really just got to know about it. Um, cubic is one I generally go for as a, now let's see where things go, but if in doubt just run one then undo and run it again. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's have a look at cubic and I'm going to click scale. So now it's worked out what it's doing and if I just zoom in a bit we can see that the quality it looks like this. It's a bit pixelated around the areas and that's okay, but I'm not too f I'm great with that. So I'm just gonna undo the scale. You see how it was before, it was a bit fuzzy. So let's zoom out a bit and let's go again. So I'm gonna go to image, gonna go to scale image. Once again, select centimeters because it doesn't remember what you did last time. And pixels per inch, that's good, 300. So before a cubic, I'm gonna go for low halo. So we're gonna get a bit of fuzz, get rid of some of the harshness click on scale and by zooming in you can see that it does have a slightly different appearance. Now for what I'm doing this is completely fine um, but really just kind of play with it and with experience you'll know what's right for your publication kind. Um, but for the sake of it I'm going to show you no halo. So edit undo image scale once again I'll go through this stuff 300 and go for no halo. So there we have it. Um, you can see it's a little bit more pixelated, a little bit sharper. So that isn't right for me. So in this case, the one I'm using is going to be um, low halo. Anyway, that's the video. And hopefully you can use this to improve your um, improve your image for publication and I hope that you can get some worth out of this, particularly as it is a free program. So if you found this useful, um, like, comment and subscribe below and check out my other content for design e-learning tutorials.